Biking, hiking, rafting, canoeing, reading, baking. There are some things I can just keep doing for connected hours on end. Swimming, not so much. So I found myself sitting on the edge of the America Inn pool, watching the fun and splashing of my husband, our son Marcus, and my niece, her husband, and their two daughters. We were spending the night in Princeton, Illinois, this past Monday to see family. At one point, Shaylin, the eight-year-old, kept going underwater and holding her breath for longer and longer times. On the last go of it, her mom said that she'd go down with her. Apparently, Shaylin didn't hear that part. So when both heads of mom and daughter came bobbing to the surface, Shaylin was gasping and spurting water and whining, Where were you, Mom? And her mom said... I was down under with you the entire time. She told her that they had set a new record for their ability to hold their breath underwater and that she was facing her the whole time. And I observed all this. I know that Courtney went down with her daughter, faced her, counted the time off, and never left the scene, not for one second. I thought of the times I have cried out to Almighty God, my Father, where were you when? Can't you see what's happening to me? Where are you, God? And all the while, here is truth. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And lo, I am with you to the ends of the earth. And here's the part of God's good and true word that gets my heart every time from Isaiah 43. Now this is what the Lord says. I created you. I formed you. Don't be afraid because I have saved you. I have called you by name and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you cross river, you will not drown. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned, nor will the flames hurt you. This is because I, the Lord, am your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. You are precious to me. Don't be afraid, because I am with you. Don't you know that Shaylin and Caitlin are precious to their mom and dad? There isn't anything that they would knowingly let hurt them. And they are human and limited. Don't you know that God, who is illimitable, is right there with you, no matter where you are? Trust Him who is the only one who could ever save you from where you may be, underwater and overwhelmed.